Execute Order 66. Hmm, clothes Baby Yoda needs. <laughs> oh my god. We got Clone Wars, baby. So yeah, we're making mods. And the first one we did was the Mando and Baby Yoda mod. Here's a bunch of Mandalorians. And here's the one with the jetpack and the minigun. If you've watched The Mandalorian on Disney, you know what I'm talking about. Then we added Yodas. There's a Yoda with a staff. And then there's Baby Yoda who is treating this like one of those giant turkey legs at a renaissance fair. Look at them nibbling on it. And uh, apparently he lost his ability to use a uh, lightsaber. But then we got regular Yoda. And I asked you guys what mod you wanted me to make. And you guys said the Clone Wars. By the way, the jetpack actually works. And we're going to see it a little bit later in the episode. But when you're talking about the Clone Wars, you got to have clone troopers. I mean, don't you? And the clones, like, they have to fight against the most prevalent, the ubiquitous. The numerous, infinitely numerous it seems, clankers. And these are the totally accurate versions with real eyeballs that blink. But like, look at the fidelity of these models, guys. I mean, come on. And yeah, there's different versions, right? So this is a regular battle droid, a B1 battle droid. And the colors usually signify that they have different abilities or different roles, specifically in the droid army. This is a support class, and he got a big gun, so he can support a lot. This is a droid commander, and he commands other droids. So if you were to say, hey, Baron, remember that summoner mod that you showed off a while ago that could summon enemy units, or rather units in general? Yeah, he does that. And then we got Darth Sidious, who doesn't like to wear pants, but he's got this, like, force, force field. Is that a little bit redundant? It's a field of force. How about that? It's the field of force. And he's got twin lightsabers because you know what? He likes it. They're green. They should be red. You know what? We're working on it. And this is a clone with a blaster. Then we got the clone with the rifle. Then we got big boy with a scope on it. And no, this is an in infrared scope like Tarkov. That's going to cost us like 76,000 rubles. We use Imperial... Well, no. Galactic? The New Republic? Shoot. Republic credits? I mean, it was the original Republic, right? Anyway, it's a sniper rifle. And then there's the commander. And look at this bad boy. So they're all kind of leaning over like those Taco Bell commercials where Shaq's shooting the free throws. So now our family's grown. We've got the clones. We got the droids. We've got the Sith. And we've got some Mandalorians. This one's got the grappling hook. This one's got the blaster and the grappling hook. This is the minigun. And we got the Yodas. The first time I ever saw the... <laughs> Wait a second. Look at this guy's neck. <laughs> it looks like it's broken. Maybe he met a Wookiee. Oh my god, should we add Wookiees? But the first time I saw B1 battle droids was in the Phantom Menace. This guy looks like he's got a derpy mouth. When they fought the Gungans. Now we don't have Gungans just yet, but you know we're gonna have them. But remember those like reflective shields that would deflect lasers? Well, I mean, a galaxy far, far away has just invaded the Tab's dimension here being the tribal faction. So I want to see how a full squadron of battle droids led by their droid commander and some droid support soldiers goes up against the tribal faction. And as we're watching this battle right here, I want you guys to be thinking about what mod we should make next. Also, what units we should update the Star Wars mods with. Should we stick with the Clone Wars for a while? Maybe bring in some new units, B2 battle droids, Droidicas, maybe some Gungans, maybe a mercenary army of bounty hunters. I don't know. There's just a whole possibility of stuff we can do. Look at this. What happens when a spear, <laughs> when a spear hits the little teeny neck of a B1 battle droid? Of all the area to hit, how accurate this man must be. He'd be like, he goes home, goes to his little cave. He's like, honey, I smash the god metal. Where, they wouldn't even know what metal is. What do they call it in that show C? I, I hit him in the god bone with my stone spear, and he dead now. They probably couldn't even use that many words, but you know what? <laughs> oh my god, so how, how do we do? Look at, the, look at these clones, see? The clones will run rampant on the world. I mean, after they defeat the tribals, they're gonna have to fight the farmers. So one of the things I wanna do real quick is to see if they're working as intended, remember? that uh, mods is a new thing for uh, for me. So this is gonna be interesting. Let's see, <laughs> let's test them on an entire army of hobbits. Will these guys command like I hope they will? I don't think so. I think they only have the, dang it. 
We are the worst commanders in history. <laughs> I thought they were exploding, but I think they were just jumping. I'm getting eaten alive by hobbits. Oh! <laughs> but I mean, what are you going to do? How are you going to like, you're going to have to literally rip this droid to pieces, right? Oh my God. It looked like his arm was getting detached, but there's no dismemberment in totally aggro battle simulator. And I think the other guys, I think one of these guys may have walked himself straight off the cliff. Remember that the Clankers B1 battle droids aren't the smartest, although in this case, it appears they may be so. So all these hobbits are excellent target practice for battle droids. They're gonna be calling in reinforcements to try to defend their cute little homeland with a scarecrow that one day I hope becomes a secret unit or at least comes alive. And the medieval faction will do their best to hold them at the straight pass, even if their guys have longer necks than the battle droids do. I'd say that guy's pretty close to having a longer neck, but all of the king's men and jesters, uh, no horses apparently, but you know, the hobbits came here and they tattletailed on the galactic invaders. The uh, separatists, the trade federation battle droids here. But I want to see just how good. <laughs> Look at these guys. I mean, they're walking around with arrows in their armor because, duh, those are freaking arrows. Catapults do seem to be pretty effective. And this support soldier, oh, he just sidestepped around that cliff. Oh, there you go. Remember, clankers are not the smartest. But it looks like the king is able to hold them back even. A lot of these guys are running. The commander is retreating into the woods. And like, I don't know if they're like the woods of Kashyyyk or Endor, but if you don't see any little Ewoks running around, you know, it, it's not Endor, I'll tell you that much. Oh my God, they're turning the tide. I thought the medieval faction was gonna win, but I think this one unit has distracted pretty much everybody. Oh look. They, 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 they're trying to hit him so bad, they decide to throw the pieces of their catapult down there. But you know the drill. If the hobbits die, that faction loses. You remember that video? And then if the droid commander dies, the droids lose. But it looks like this is just going to be a firing squad on this poor little hobbit. And that, my friends, is another planet. <clears throat> or region of this planet, controlled by the Separatists. Things were getting so bad as more and more B1 droids were dropped out of orbit from those giant space stations that they love to have, which look like mini Death Stars with a donut around it, a half-eaten donut, that even the secret units decided to band together, the three most powerful ones, recruiting some of their favorite minions to do their bidding, including some heavy explosive artillery and some jousters and even artemis brought both of her bows because she knew hey this is a two bow kind of problem so if the droid commander dies the droids lose because didn't didn't they have to like i don't know they made droids stupid or i don't know there's something about there's something about like droids getting hacked so they had to like it's like how come droids are so dumb there's something there and i'm sure someone's gonna let us know in the comments i remember reading about it a while ago but my memory is as bad as the tactical formation that the droids brought into this battle because clearly they, they didn't account for a man with a giant beard and a giant tree. So it looks like General Sidious is going to be very, very upset about this, especially when the droid commander gets taken out because that means, <laughs> hold on. You see, you see how bad clankers are? They're like, I'm gonna shoot it like it's my pee pee. And that's just not the way you use a gun. At least not if you want to win. Someone is going to be really mad. And that someone is the pantless... <laughs> I mean, that's what you get when you get dynamic clothing, right? You know, when you when you freeze time right when you start. Some people ain't wearing their pants. <laughs> but he hired some of the best Mandalorian mercenaries in the game. <clears throat> I mean, the galaxy. Oh, God, look at these bombs about to blow up, man. It's because he's like, you know what? If, it, if he's... He's gonna have to do it himself, and he's gonna have to bring some of the best soldiers. So those are definitely the Mandalorians who are able, with their Beskar armor, to deflect some of the incoming projectiles, whether they be bullets or arrows. And look at this! General Sidious, Darth Sidious, is able to lift giant creatures, things that are as big as Rancors. <gasps> oh my god, what about a Rancor mod? Or Wampas? Or Ewoks, or Jawas, or everything. Everything is possible. You know that You know that Kevin Garnett meme where it's like, anything is possible! 
Yeah, that's that's how I feel right now. And I, I also feel old if I'm able to remember Kevin Garnett winning the World Series of Basketball. Wink, wink. <laughs> I bet I triggered some of you guys. Oh my God, is General Sidious? I keep I keep saying General Sidious because I'm thinking about General Grievous. Because their names are kind of, they kind of sound similar. Oh my God, if this guy, we're going to need to call in extra reinforcements here. Can to jet. <laughs> oh my God, what? I think, whoa. <laughs> we, okay, they, they went to space. Let's try that again. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. All right, please don't go to space this time. Yeah, there we go. Working jetpacks. We got working jetpacks. They may not be the most accurate, but they got working jetpacks, all right? And they're able to distract the enemy units. I'm actually kind of curious if what's going to kill them, if anything. Will it be Artemis, or will their Beskar steal kind of defect? Oh my god, what is that? The Swordmaster, I think, attempted to throw a sword at them. And I think it deflected. Oh god, hold on. Mando just got- you got a dart in your neck, dude. <laughs> they're able to dodge so many incoming shells. And by shells, I mean any kind of projectiles. I'm just excited to be here right now. now. Okay, so pretty much everybody's dead except the commander and the two Mandalorians with jetpacks. And they're able to defeat so many people. The bomb cannons aren't doing anything. I think they just got like air striked. Oh my God. So here we go. Oh, look at this Beskar steel. This is the power of Beskar steel. This man has so many swords, but it doesn't matter. They finally conquered them. I think, I think the tree giant is gonna have to reevaluate his options. He's gonna have to call for reinforcements because it looks like another planet conquered by Darth Sidious. I know, finally. Now, the factions of the tabs have united under the leadership of the tree giant, Artemis, and the Reaper. And the Reaper was like, you know what? If they've got a bunch of droids, then I need something roughly equivalent that I can mass produce, and there's a lot of graveyards around Totally Aga Battle Simulator due to all of the ahem, battles that take place. So they fell back to the new simulation fortress, bringing in some of the best units that they could bring to bear, including two of the great and magical sword masters. So the droid attack is gonna be fierce. It's led by Darth Sidious, who doesn't have eyes, which is really creepy. And there's also the droid commander, and apparently there's these units. Okay, there go, there go the musket men. We don't need muskets, apparently. So this is gonna be pretty interesting to see them just storm down these. I'm trying to find the best view. I feel like this one is pretty good. It's all encompassing. How is this gonna work? So many droids are getting cut down, and the tree giant's out there too. Oh my god, the Reaper just got lifted in the air. Depending on how this goes, if Darth Sidious can kill him quickly... Oh, never mind! The Reaper just threw Darth Sidious. Oh my god. What did we learn, Darth Sidious? What did we learn about this? If you're gonna be attacking a fortress, you're gonna need Mandalorians. Remember how the last Battle of the Fields played? But I guess it took a little bit of time to get these Mandalorian reinforcements. I mean, they had to be paid a lot of credits. Maybe even Beskar Steel and uh, the jetpacks went to space again. So we're gonna do a little thing called let's try it again, shall we? Okay, jetpacks don't really work well <laughs> when there's no ground <laughs> under them. So that guy's dead. Let's see how long this guy can stay alive. I don't think it's gonna be very long. But the Mandalorians, some of which have grappling hooks, should be able to fight pretty well. They're able to just deflect a lot of shots. And while they did lead the armies... Oh my god, who's lighting everybody on fire? Probably the fire archers, right? Oh my god. Look at how many... Look at the, the harpoon. He pulled the Chuko Nu over towards him. So even... Even with Jetpack McGee now going into the Great Abyss, it's like... It's like when Palpatine fell down the Death Star, like, uh, like I don't know, garbage chute or whatever that giant tunnel that was just conveniently located next to his throne room was. <laughs> Deus Ex Machina, anybody? Oh, we're gonna do, we're gonna dance. Guys, it looks like we may need a little bit more. The defenses are incredible. Where, who's left alive? All right, let's try this, because now the initial droids are gonna take the hits, leaving these Mandalorians probably to get pushed off the cliff as the other droids are just dumb and trying to get, oh my God, that's awesome. This guy looks like he's ziplining. -na 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 -na. Ooh, a Spider-Man would be interesting, wouldn't it? All right, so let's see how this goes, because the goal here 
is for the Tabs factions to need to call in reinforcements. Those reinforcements, <laughs> they're doing too well. Okay, that guy's dead. What are you doing here, Billy? This is this actually might work. Oh, Artemis is alive. Never mind, it's not gonna work. Oh, there's too many arrows. Ah! Son, you need your jetpack. You need to get out of here. <laughs> but Darth Sidious retreated to the old Sith fortress that was on this very strange and white squared uh, planet. And he decided to garrison up and you know what? Go for, you know what? To beg the Tabs factions to come in and get him and take him out of there. So he's got snipers covering the roofs. And he's even brought in his classic Mandalorian mercenaries because he needs a little more quality to his armies. Clearly he needs something else, maybe droidicas or B2s. But it was only a matter of time before the Tabs factions decided, you know what? It's time to bring in the clones. Led by a Jedi Master, Yoda here, we've got the clone commander, the clone rifleman, the clones with blasters here for single-handed use, and even the snipers, which... <laughs> no, don't jump off the cliff! Okay, I needed to choose him. So let's see just how chaotic the battle on the bridge is because uh, apparently Sidious wanted to break his knees or use the force in some way to kind of like withstand the blow to his knees. And he's a very old man. Uh, some would say that the power in his knees is a little unnatural. Oh my God, is he doing what I think he's doing? With a lightsaber throw? Or, no, never mind. I think he's he's in such desperate needs for reinforcement that he's trying to send a flare into orbit. I'm still trying to catch this lightsaber. It is out of the barrier of the map. But maybe a Star Destroyer will see it. I guess it would be more of a Republic cruiser now, wouldn't it? Oh, dude, the clones are getting worked. No way. The only thing that seems to... Oh, no! <laughs> he's... He's gonna come back in the next movie. Wait, this isn't Lord of the Rings. You're not Gandalf. Oh, we need a Balrog. Wow. The only thing that would turn the tide on this battle is a good old classic Mandalorian Civil War. We know that they've happened in time, so let's add some jet packs. They just turn into rocket ships. <laughs> Modding at times doesn't exactly feel like a true science. You know what I mean? It's kind of learning as you go. Oh my god, Sidious almost went off the cliff, I think, to a Yoda force push. They're using force abilities. Who's going to win? Yoda or Sidious? Winner takes all. This is the final battle. The final countdown. We got Mandalorians with grappling hooks over here and Mandalorians with jetpacks. Those Mandalorians are a little bit better equipped than the ones that are on the Separatist forces. But I'd say overall, things are looking good for the good guys. AKA the non Sith. <laughs> but Yoda died, and Sidious died, and that clone decided, you know what, I want to join my leader, and I'm just gonna jump off the cliff. The snipers didn't commit Sudoku this time, so they're actually still fighting. I'm so proud of them. Who's left alive in this in this Sith temple? It doesn't Okay, we got a few guys that are on the roof that are making their way downtown. The music's fast and they want tacos. Da -da 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 -da. But yeah, I'd say uh, things went pretty well. See, look at this. How'd they win, you may be asking? Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh God, I thought something just materialized out of his neck like an alien. Oh, that's an intriguing idea, isn't it? Well, it looks like if you bring in a Jedi, some Mandalorians, a man that seems to be 50 feet tall with a giant tree, a Greek god of the hunt, and the Lord of Death, uh, with a bunch of your good old clone boys, then I think you have a pretty good chance of taking out a Sith temple and, and dealing with Sidious, who doesn't like to wear pants. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you did enjoy another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. By the way, the mod for the tested stuff that's ready to go out, I'm going to provide a link in the video description. If it's not available right away, check back in a day or so, and I'll put it. Also, I'll announce it on Twitter, probably a YouTube community post, because I'm just so excited to share this with you guys. So, just remember, B1 Battle Droids, Clankas look cool with blinking eyeballs. Thanks for watching. Show some love to the video if you'd like to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.